Hey guys, this is Zombie X from uh, ZX Review Central. I'm going to be here to show you just a brief walkthrough of the Ace Card 2i interface with AKAIO 1.6. Um, I won't be doing any talking in the video, but I'll be pointing out certain things with the stylus here. And I'm going to be holding the camera with one hand, so yeah. Sorry, I don't got a tripod yet. There is his card 2 there. And it's been pre-patched with a new boot loader. Here is the main menu. Oh, glare. Yeah, I got glare. There we go. That's a little better. Um, basically from the main menu, since this is on a, a DSi XL, you get just a couple options. There is this, which is the bookmark for Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. And you can create those, but you can only have one at a time from the start menu. So it's kind of limited. Plus up here is the SD access icon and the brightness. Change brightness, but it's broken on this system. Then there's the start menu with different options. There's recup, excuse me, copy, cut, delete, paste, system options, properties, cheats, and then more options, which is Easy Flash 3 and 1, Wi Fi update, then a help thing. Eh, help. Then we're going to go straight to the system options. You can change your skin, the language, the brightness doesn't work, and then this which you could select the show file types and such. I usually just keep it on NDS because save files crowd up the menu. Okay, now the next one is the interface. The scroll speed, that's used for like going into ROMs and that. Um, it controls how fast the styles and that can move. And it goes to the file name. That The internal name is the name like if you insert it into the DS, the name that appears above it. Or there is the text list. Uh, yeah. Text list is just going to be the name in the list. It won't have any icons or anything. File name is, yeah, you just named it that, but it has the icon. It's like whatever the name is of the NDS file, it'll have plus the icon. Cheat scrolling, uh, I haven't quite figured out what that is. Hidden, file does, hidden files is anything that you did in Windows that determines if the file is hidden or not and properties. Oh there, that's a better viewing angle. Then there's hide file extensions, and I always use that because that is better for this type of system in my opinion, because I don't want to see NDS extensions and stuff. Cancel that. Oh, I don't want to do that. Please. Eh. Please. Then there's ROM, ROM trimming. That you can enable, that's like if you copy from another folder to another, it'll g delete the junk data. Then there's this, and there's copy, copy, cut, save with the ROM, and that is basically if you copy the ROM to a different folder, it'll take the save with it. Then there's the delete save with ROM, and I guess you kind of get what that is. If you delete the game off the micro SD, it will delete the save as well. Then there's your save extension, where you can, which you can choose the dot .set, SAV, or and yes, that SAV, which is native to the ACE card, keep it at SAV. Then there's the default patch options. There's get the download play, soft reset, cheat code, auto run. I keep auto run off because that'll load whatever you had loaded last. And it's kind of a bitch to disable. You have to randomly tap buttons to disable it. Um cheat code database, I, use on, I usually keep it on user, because that one has a lot more codes in it. It takes like the R4DS cheat database. Then the homebrew reset, I found SWI one to be better. And this lets you reset anytime you want within homebrew. I'm sorry about this glare there. I decided to speak after all. And then we're back to that. Now let's highlight this. Go to that, properties. Now there's not much here because this is a shortcut, and shortcuts can be created just by tapping on the game 
and then going down a certain between properties, and then usually here where delete is, it'll say shortcut. And then there's the ROM settings, which brings you up to like all those same options. Now this, the loader, doesn't work, but unless you choose your save type. That, I also keep it 512, because that's, all my saves are from the Cycle ODS, which uses that. Plus, you could do save slots. You could have up, I believe, to 10 slots with different save, which is in hand, comes in handy for me, because I like to start new games, so I do like slot 2 and stuff. Sorry, the camera's veering. Then, let's see. The homebrew is pretty good. The soft reset works for most of them, not for all. Okay, NDS games. Now, I'll show you what I was telling you about with this. Property C, it'll show you the file name, the change time, whenever you changed it last, updated it, the file size, and then the save type, and the game code. And then this is the inter inter the internal name that the DS recognizes it if you insert it into slot 1. ROM settings are the same. Here's the shortcut button I was telling you about. Create shortcut. It just overrid the one on the top. See? There you go. Akumajo Dracula Gallery of Labyrinths. Boom. Load. Load. I'm gonna give it a glare for you guys. Sorry. Skip. And then you'll see the intro video plays great. No lag. Let's see, is that better there? And also, sleep mode works perfectly, and that's very good for me. Because in the original Ace Card 2 firmware, it sleep mode's kind of broken in the DSi, and AKAIO fixes that. Well, that's about all I'm going to show you this time, guys. So, I'm going to be signing off right here. This is ZombieX again, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'll be doing the Eye Edge next. A little, little view into the Eye Edge, which is right here. And then it'll be going to Easy Flash 5i. That's it. See you guys.